So I got two charts up here, both are the daily and both are on the same instrument. So on the chart on the right, I'm going to draw an ellipse and while I'm drawing it, watch what happens to the chart on the left. It's pretty cool, we'll show you how this can be used, stay tuned, and while you wait, consider hitting that subscribe button so that you get all our other NT tips and tricks. So I got my ellipse tool out, I'm about to draw it here. Okay, as I do it, you can watch the chart on the left and nothing happens, right? So the idea here is that when we draw an object on the chart, we want it to show the same object on all the charts with the same instrument. This way, if you draw something on the daily time frame, it can be seen on the four hour without having to redraw it. So you can do this for all the drawing tools. We can even do it for our own XABCD pattern tools. So watch as I draw it on our daily and on the four hour it will appear. Now I'm sure that you can find your own uses for this, but if you're someone that does a lot of charting, want to save a lot of time, there definitely are going to be times where this would come in handy. So how do you set it up? You're going to have to do this for each tool, but let's take an ellipse tool and draw it on your chart. Okay, now right click and go into the properties. Under where it says attach to, you want to change this, which was the default, attach it to this chart. We want to change it to all charts. Now you're not done yet. Go to the bottom where it says the word template in little writing, the bottom right of this window. I want you to save the template as the word default and press OK. It has to be called default because if it's not, it won't load those template settings every time we click to draw a new ellipse tool. So we need it to be called default so that all chart setting is saved and used by default. Now draw it on your chart and watch the magic. It's pretty cool. So if you think it's worth slapping that thumbs up button for it, really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to grab the free price line indicator. And if you have not had an intro into the XABCD patterns for both using Fibonacci time and price measurements and want to learn more about that as well, we'll put a video up there for you as well. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for subscribing for all our tips and tricks and we'll see you in the next video.